In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Hello, I'm Father Paul, and this is the good news. Christ has ascended. May the let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight. O Lord, my strength and my Redeemer. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke, chapter 24, verses 36 through to 53. Now as they said these things, Jesus himself stood in the midst of them and said to them, Peace to you. But they were terrified and frightened and supposed that they had seen a spirit. And he said to them, Why are you troubled? And why do doubts arise in your hearts? Behold my hands and my feet, that it is I myself. Handle me and see, for a spirit does not have flesh and bones, as you see I have. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his feet. But while they still did not believe for joy and marveled, he said to them, Have you any food here? So they gave him a piece of broiled fish and some honeycomb, and he took it and ate it in their presence. Then he said to them, These these are the words which I spoke to you while I was still with you, that all things must be fulfilled which were written in the law of Moses and the prophets and the Psalms concerning me. And when he opened their understanding, that they might comprehend the scriptures. Then he said to them, Thus it is written, and thus it was necessary for the Christ to suffer and to rise from the dead the third day, and that repentance and remission of sins should be preached in his name to all nations, beginning at Jerusalem. And you are witnesses of these things. Behold, I send the promise of my Father upon you, but tarry in the city of Jerusalem until you have endured with the power from on high. And he led them out as far as Bethany, and he lifted up his hands and blessed them. Now it came to pass, while he blessed them, that he was parted from them and carried up into heaven. And they worshipped him and returned to Jerusalem, with great joy, and were continually in the temple praising and blessing God. Amen. Glory to you, O God. Come, Holy Spirit, fill our hearts with your love. Help us in the understanding of your words and teachings. Help us to be true and faithful followers of yours. And they worshipped him and returned to Jerusalem with great joy and were continually in the temple praising and blessing God. Amen. After they saw Jesus ascending back to heaven. Yes. Today is Ascension Thursday, and this is the day we remember when Jesus returned to his Father. There are many instances in the Gospels referring to what was going to happen, and today we remember again, especially Ascension Thursday, Jesus returning to his Father. Many people would have been sad but also too he had to go back to the father so then the father would send the holy spirit 
Yes, the Holy Spirit on Pentecost Sunday. He will return not as God the Son, but God the Holy Spirit, who promised to be our helper, to remain with us, to guide us. Yes, we must listen to the Holy Spirit always. He is the comforter, the helper. Yes, pray to him constantly. Praise God for him. That God so loved us, he gave us Christ, his son. But then he gave us the helper, the Holy Spirit. God, the Holy Spirit, to be with us always. Glory to you, O God. And may the blessing of Almighty God, Father, Son, and of the Holy Spirit be with you now and forever. Amen. 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 Most Holy Theotokos, Save us.